So we're going to go through the two closets that the kids have clothes in. So this first one is the closet that Mavis and Sissy share. So Sissy may, being the middle child, she has a lot of hand-me-downs. So her, this is Mavis's side, but her closet is really packed and full and she just has too much stuff. So I'm going to declutter some stuff and honestly we don't really buy a lot of clothes only like when we need maybe an outfit to go somewhere or do something and we don't have anything to wear but most of the time we don't really clothes shop that much so yeah this is a lot of just hand-me-downs three girls you get it so my favorite times to do this is after their birthdays before the holidays uh, just kind of times when I know they're gonna get clothes from relatives as gifts so I don't do much clothes shopping for them unless we have a special occasion coming up to be honest since we homeschool you know obviously we don't need a ton of clothes uh, for you know going anywhere it's a lot of just uh, chill comfortable clothes that they have so since Charlotte is the middle kid she gets tons of hand-me-downs and we just keep things that you know will fit her later so I am just gonna go through everything and do first a donations pile and a keep pile Okay, so now I'm going to separate the keep pile into categories of what the top is. So I'm going to do t-shirts, tank tops, sweatshirts, hoodies, uh, blouses, and then also the, you know, kind of button-ups or like nicer tops, uh, maybe uh, jean jackets, you know, stuff like that, flannels, things like that. So I'm going to kind of put things into categories so I can see what I have, how many I have. This is a good way to kind of eliminate stuff that you have an overabundance of. So like if you have like five green shirts, maybe like, oh wow, I have five green shirts. Let's narrow it down, down to three. Let me get rid of two. Uh, like, oh, I have like seven pajama tops. You know, I can narrow it down to five, you know, kind of thing. So this just makes it a little bit easier to start to chip away at the keep pile. And this is a time where I do try to involve the kids. I have a seven and eight year old. So they will tell me, you know, what they prefer. Now that I've kind of gotten it down to this point where I've gone through the entire closet, I've divided up into categories and now we can go through each category together and you know kind of rationalize what they have if you know like I said earlier if you have a lot of one thing I think she had like 26 t-shirts um so yeah that ended up uh going down to I want to say it was 12 oh 16 it was 16 t-shirts she ended up narrowing it down to 16 which like four of them were pajama shirts too and that included the tank tops as well so we really cut it in half pretty much Okay, so after we go through all of the piles, all of the categories, we narrow it down to what we're going to keep. We uh, start putting everything back in the closet. So my favorite way to coordinate clothes in the closet is by color, but obviously the kids put most of their clothes away uh, most of the time, so that's not sustainable for them. Or even if I put their clothes away, I'm not gonna be you know, doing it on a regular basis. So I'm going to do it by sleeve length for them. So we don't have any winter clothes in here yet. I think they just had a couple of like sweatshirts and stuff like that, but they don't have any jackets or anything like that in here. So I just did it by sleeve length. And then at the very end uh, where you can't see here, I put all their dresses, rompers, jumpsuits, 
uh, and blouses they only had a couple of blouses so um, I kind of put it off to the side where they're not going to really need a lot of access to it. You can also do the color coordinating by sleeve length if you want. I did a few, but like I said, I'm not going to keep it this way. It's just more so for, you know, when you clean an area, you kind of go all out. But obviously, it's not going to stay like this. Okay, now we're going to move on to Mavis' side. This is like sissies that's kind of trickling in here, but... This is Mavis's clothes. So we're gonna do the same process, take everything out, make a giveaway, keep pile, then break things up into categories to see what they have, you know, dresses, t-shirts, sweatshirts, whatever, and then, you know, make decisions based off of that. But yeah, that's about it for today's video. I didn't get to Jet's closet today because I ended up doing the haul closet, but I assume Jet isn't gonna have a lot of stuff to get rid of and she's gonna be the one that's gonna need the most since she's the oldest. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found some things helpful and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.